All right, so you're probably wondering, why do I have all these clients on my desktop? Well, today I'm gonna to show you the best Kringer client that I use personally, and I'm gonna go through the features of the other ones as well, just so you understand what each one does and also which one will be best for you. So first up, we have MTZ client. This one was made by Sakurasel, and I believe he's doing really cool things for the actual game right now. Next, we have Kpop client, and this guy is actually a dev for Crunk.io. And then we have C client. This was made by Kerfuffles. Next, we have R client, which was made by Ronix. I actually use this one quite a lot in my videos. Next, we have the official Crunk.io client. Then we have Brave and Edge. These last two are actually browsers, but they give really good performance in Crunk. So yeah, I'm just going to show you what each one does and which one you should use. Okay, first up we have Brave. I'm just gonna say it right now, in my opinion, this is the best browser to use for Crunker. It gives me the most amount of performance, least input delay, and also it's super snappy and it's fast to load into games as well as mods. So yeah, if you don't wanna download Brave, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. It is what I use most. Now, the reason I choose Brave browser over any other browser is because it has privacy features built in. So for example, ad blocker, it stops trackers, things like that. Uh, other sites accessing your information. So if you are wary about that kind of thing, then I would recommend Brave. Also, the FPS is much better than other clients and browsers I've tested, for example, Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Also, another thing I love about Brave is actually Brave Awards. So let's go over to reward settings and you can see here by watching Brave ads, you actually get this currency called BAT and this converts into real money. But if you are interested in literally just getting free money um, by using this browser, then yeah, I would recommend that. Also, there is verified creators on Brave. So if you want to send me a tip, you can do. Again, you don't have to, I don't mind. But that's just one of the cool features of using Brave. So if you do want that extra FPS, more performance, free money basically, then yeah, feel free to use Brave. All right, so let's go to MTZ and launching up the client. You can see it is custom, which is really, really cool. You might notice, but a lot of things are in different places. Uh, you know, there's different chat. And as you can see, the settings are also different with, again, a red and black theme. Now, one thing I really do like is Alt Manager, and you can actually add accounts. So basically, if you have a bunch of alts and you can't remember all the passwords, you can actually save them here. So the main features of MTZ, if you go to settings and scroll down, uh, you'll actually see MTZ badges. So for example, if you're a content creator, you'll get your own custom badge, which I think is really cool and also animated clan tags. So if you're in a popular clan, for example, I'm in Verb, you'll actually have a specific clan tag, which is really cool. Um, and they look awesome, honestly. Also, you have Twitch integration. So if you're live streaming on Twitch and don't want to look at your other monitor, you can actually type in your Twitch name here and all the Twitch chat will come up in this section if you click on Twitch. If you do want all these other options, you just have to hold down Shift and click on each one and it shows up. Also, if you're a streamer, you'll probably get what is the link or exclamation mark link quite a lot. And you can actually do that. You can link a bot, which will send into your own chat the link to the game, which is amazing. Also, this client has Discord integration, so you can send games to people um, and they can actually join your game, which again is a really nice feature to have. And if you think your FPS is a bit low, you can actually turn on placebo FPS, which will increase your FPS. And I don't know. Also, this does come with custom commands. So for example, F4 would change lobby like I just clicked on then. But yeah, overall, this is mainly a client for streamers or other content creators on different platforms. It does actually have more performance than the official client. But if you're not a fan of the theme, I'm going to show you some other clients which are similar to the official client. All right, next we have KPAL and launching it, you can see it's a really nice theme, kind of rainbow style. And if we go full screen right here, um, it's kind of pinky, ready and also black as well. I like it. It's simple. Also, the customized tab is in dark mode. So if you don't want to ruin your eyes on light mode on the official client, you can actually use KPAL. Now, the main feature of KPAL client is when you press tab, it comes up with this option menu. Um, so you can copy the game link from here. Uh, Keybind. So I have it on tab at the moment whenever I press tab. Then you also have KPAL theme. So if I turn this off and then press reboot, you'll see it goes back to the default theme. So if you do like the original default theme, you can use that. However, I just like the KPAL theme as it's dark mode, which also takes away stress on my eyes. Also, if you want to set a custom frame rate limit, I know this is an option in Crunker, but the one in KPAL works a lot better in my opinion. So you can just turn up the frame cap or turn it down. Zero is unlimited. I would seriously recommend putting on zero. Also, again, you can press F4 to switch lobbies, which is really nice. There is an option for DirectX 9 rendering. Honestly, I don't notice too much of a difference turning this on or off. 
but you can play around with it. Maybe you'll get better performance. Color profile, this is for your monitor. So I know I have an sRGB monitor. So I would select this, but default I believe is sRGB. And then you have matchmaking. So say for example, I wanted a public match on, let's go Sub-Zero, Mode, FFA, Course and Region Frankfurt. I'll just click on search and there you go. But yeah, overall this client is mainly for performance. It is originally made for performance. So if you do want that extra bit of FPS and also these features, then feel free to download it. Remember, I will leave all the downloads in the description. Okay, next we have our client. This client was made by Ronix and it was purely made for performance. As you can see here, there is a custom UI. It will take a bit of getting used to, but luckily you can actually customize it right here. Um, as you can see, change menu design. You can change all the colors, the images. Kind of like a resource whopper, I do like that. And also you can change font, which is really cool. I love this feature. Also server browser field, as you can see, I've put FFA. So if I just go to servers right here, as you can see, it automatically puts in FFA. So say if I want to capture the flag, I just type it in there, servers, and it puts it in right there. Also similar to MTZ is you can click on alt accounts and add one, or you can check your saved ones right here. And if you do want to change lobbies, you just press F1 this time instead of F4. But yeah, the main reason I use our client in my videos is because I actually get less input delay by using this client. So if you notice input delay on other clients, feel free to use our client. I'll leave a link in the description. And it does actually lower your input delay quite a bit, as well as give you that extra bit of FPS for slide hopping. All right, next we have C Client X. This was made by Kafafalls. I really do like that launch intro as well. And um, when you first launch it, you might notice uh, the Crunket logo up here has changed a bit and it's got Crunket right there. In case you don't want this, you can just go to settings right here and click on restore Crunket logo. The main features of C Client is extra performance. It was made for performance and also lobby switching. This is very common in all these clients is lobby switching just by pressing F4. But yeah, back in the day, I used to use C Client as it did give me a lot more performance. I do just want to mention, instead of pressing Alt F4, you can actually click the X right here. The difference by doing that is that when you press X, it will close all instances of the program. Um, whereas Alt F4 sometimes leaves background processes. I don't know, it's something to do with Electron. But yeah, that's a nice feature and it would be cool to see that on official client. So yeah, feel free to try it out. All right, next we have the official Crunker.io client. This one is, of course, the official client by the developers. So if you do want to download it, you just got to go up here to download and then Windows installer. Or if you use these ones, then click on these. But yeah, it hasn't got many features, of course, because it is a base client. But if you're looking for stability, then I would recommend this client. Also, it does get updated first. Okay, and finally, we have Edge. And Edge was recently updated. It is a Microsoft official browser. So it works a similar way to Brave or Chrome or something like that. There's not too much to say about it. Now, you might see a bit more performance in this browser than something like Chrome, for example. The one thing I don't like about Edge is that you can never get rid of the press escape to show cursor. I don't know why it's there. Maybe they'll fix it in the future, hopefully. If you get annoyed by notifications and stuff like that, then I would recommend using Brave. But yeah, I think that about covers everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.